Erin Andrews' $75 million courtroom battle. The Dancing with the Stars co-host suing her stalker and the hotel she says allowed him to book a room next to her and secretly record nude video of her through a peephole. ABC's Ryan Smith has the latest for us. Good morning, Ryan. Good morning, Rob. And Erin Andrews suffered through an unthinkable crime, a stalker filming her changing in a hotel, disseminating the videos online. But now she's fighting back in court, claiming both the stalker and the hotel's actions and alleged failings caused her severe and permanent emotional distress. I am happy to report. She's known for reporting from the sidelines. Hi, Erin Andrews. And as a co-host on ABC's Dancing with the Stars. But this morning, Erin Andrews taking on a very personal challenge, a $75 million courtroom battle against a stalker and a Tennessee Marriott, claiming the hotel made it easy for him to film her in the nude. This is so humiliating to her, and it continues, and it's never going to stop. The TV star fighting back tears in a Nashville court Tuesday as her lawyers described how Michael David Barrett found her room number, telling the jury Barrett called the Marriott of Vanderbilt University with a strange request. I, Michael Barrett, want a room next to Aaron Andrews. That's my request. And the hotel did nothing to prevent him from finding the room number, then failed to notice he removed and altered the peephole on her door to do it. He stands there for four and a half minutes and videos her. But the hotel's lawyers saying Aaron Barrett Andrews. pulled a fast one on them. He deceived, he connived, he stalked. Claiming Barrett's criminal behavior was his responsibility, not theirs. Adding he tried to film Andrews in three different hotels over nine months in 2008, always with the same M.O. Takes up the phone, he calls the hotel here. This is Jeff, Scott, and Aaron Andrews. I need to confirm our reservation. Barrett later posting the videos online, eventually pleading guilty to stalking in 2010 and sentenced to 30 months in prison. But for Andrews, the ordeal shaking her to the core, revealing as a GMA contributor in 2010, her difficulty in coping. The, I would go through the putting my head down because I felt like everywhere I looked, everybody was looking, even if they, I, nobody was looking at me at all. But emerging to be a key advocate in strengthening anti-stalking legislation, even telling Congress in 2010. I had no idea just how serious this crime was until it affected my life. Michael Barrett isn't represented, but is expected to testify in the trial. The hotel's franchise owner tells us they look forward to showing that Nashville Marriott acted reasonably and appropriately. And Andrew's attorneys could call witnesses who know her and work with her to talk about the emotional distress that she suffered. The trial is expected to last nearly two weeks, Robin. All right, Ryan, thank you. We're going to bring in ABC's chief legal analyst, Dan Abrams, now. We know the stalker already convicted in criminal court. How strong is this civil suit? It's a very strong civil suit against him. But he doesn't have money. So the question is going to be how strong a case is it against the franchise owner, against the management company, et cetera. That's where you're talking about the potential for deep pockets and the potential of a payout. So this is really a, a case where we're going to talk about how much and who pays it more than was there any wrongdoing. And when we say how much, she's asking for $75 million. $75 million. She had been asking for $10 million. She increased it now to $75 million. Keep in mind for context here, on average, most wrongful death cases in civil court pay out three to five million dollars. So when you're asking for 75 million in a case like this, it's an enormous number. Um, and certainly I would think more than she's going to get. But again, the question is going to be who has to pay it and do they have to all pay it together, even though there's no question that he, the stalker, is the person who's primarily responsible. Which the hotel has you know, said, this is terrible what happened, put it all on him. What is their defense? Right. The question is, was it negligent? Did they do something? Meaning the defense is, look, he fooled us. He was an insurance executive. He knew how to play the game. He knew how to ask for the right room. Her position is going to be, no, no, no. They should never have allowed him to be in that room next to me, and they should have found that peephole a lot earlier. Okay, as Ryan said, a couple more weeks, and we we'll, should do Absolutely. It. All right. Thank you, Dan.